Hi, Relaxed Recaps here. Today I'm going to explain an erotic psychological thriller film called Deep Water. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Victor Van Allen is a wealthy entrepreneur who is riding his bike through the woods. After a brief stroll in the forest, he returns home and begins changing his clothes. And when he does, he sees his wife, Melinda, waiting for him on the stairs. Victor asks her what's going on, but she simply responds with nothing before entering the house. Later, we learn that Victor and Melinda also have a young daughter named Trixie. As the couple is getting ready for a party, Melinda asks her husband to help her with the dress. While Victor is helping Melinda slip into her shoes, she takes a moment to express her love for him. Then, the couple heads out for the party, leaving Trixie with her babysitter, Chelsea. Victor and Melinda catch up with their friends at the party, have a few drinks, and chat about Trixie's schooling. As they chat, Melinda sees her friend Joel and goes over to say hello. And without hesitation, she takes Joel to a quiet corner and they start kissing intensely. Victor notices what's going on and keeps an eye on the situation, but he doesn't react. Despite her husband watching her, Melinda continues to kiss Joel. Right then, one of Victor's friends named Mary comes up to him and tells him how she's worried about Joel and Melinda's relationship. But Victor doesn't seem to be bothered by it and tells Mary that he adores his wife the way she is. A little while later, Melinda arrives at the party and sits down at the piano. She then starts playing a song, capturing everyone's attention. And a few minutes later, Joel goes over to Victor and thanks him for letting him see Melinda. During their conversation, Victor brings up the topic of Melinda's ex-boyfriend, Martin McRae, who went missing a while back. He then drops a bombshell, confessing that he was the one responsible for making Martin disappear. At first, Joel thinks that Victor is messing around, but when he becomes insistent that he's speaking the truth, Joel becomes uneasy and decides to leave the party abruptly. At the party, the couple is getting ready to leave when Melinda asks Victor if he said anything to Joel, but Victor simply denies having a chat with the guy and they head home. Once they get there, Melinda takes off her top and starts walking around the kitchen half naked with the babysitter still inside the house. Victor feels embarrassed and apologizes to the babysitter for Melinda's behavior. He then asks his wife to go into their room. By now, it's clearly evident that Melinda is a careless and selfish woman. Victor walks up to Melinda and assists her in taking off her clothes. It's revealed that they have a mutual agreement where Melinda is allowed to have intimate relationships with anyone she desires, but she can't divorce Victor and must stay with him and their daughter, Trixie. Victor is concerned about his family, especially his daughter, so he abides by the terms of the agreement. Additionally, it's noted that Victor has a fondness for keeping snails as pets. The next day, Victor and his daughter Trixie are singing together as they drive to her school. When they arrive, Vic drops Trixie off and runs into his friend Jen. She asks if the rumors she heard about Victor killing Martin McRae is true. But once again, Victor chuckles and says it was just a joke he made to Joel to keep him away from Melinda. But despite Victor's explanation, the rumor quickly spreads among his friends and everyone keeps asking him if he actually killed Martin. He insists that it was just a silly joke and nothing more. Meanwhile, when Victor walks into his house, he finds Melinda upset with him for joking about her close friend Martin. She's also furious with him for threatening her boyfriend and demands that he apologize to Joel. She also lets him know that she has already invited Joel over for dinner on Friday. Fast forward to Friday, and Joel arrives at Vic's house. Victor greets him warmly, but Joel is nervous and asks if Melinda's home. In response, Victor playfully jokes that she's not there and invites Joel to have a seat. Victor informs Joel that he's cooked lobsters for dinner, hoping that Joel would enjoy it. However, upon learning that Joel is allergic to seafood, he makes some grilled sandwiches instead. During dinner, Joel thanks Victor for the delicious meal and mentions that he's moving to New Mexico the next day. Melinda then asks Victor to put Trixie to bed and read her some bedtime stories. He obliges and heads to Trixie's room, where she confesses to her dad that she doesn't like having Joel around in the house. After telling a bedtime story, Victor walks down the stairs and notices Melinda and Joel having some fun together. As Melinda heads towards the bathroom, she asks Victor to make another drink for Joel. He obliges and walks over to Joel, who was expecting an apology from Victor for joking about killing Martin. But to his surprise, Victor repeats his claim that he actually killed Martin with a hammer. Then, he calls an Uber for Joel and politely suggests that it's time for him to leave. A few days later, the family attends a party where they meet a screenplay writer named Don Wilson and his wife, Kelly Wilson. After some discussion about their profession, Don asks Victor about the murder of Martin McRae, and Vic repeats the same story. Later, Victor asks Kelly if she would like to dance with him, and they start dancing together, making Melinda feel jealous. On their drive back home, Melinda questions Victor about his attraction to Kelly, and he admits feeling drawn to her. This makes Melinda try to prove herself better, and the couple becomes intimate once they arrive home. 
The following day, Victor and Melinda are watching Trixie play with her classmates at school. Suddenly, Vic receives a phone call from the bank informing him of a recent $3,000 transaction made from Melinda's account to a piano teacher named Charlie Delisle. Feeling suspicious, Vic begins to inquire about Charlie and eventually locates him at a restaurant. And to his surprise, Melinda also enters the restaurant, smiling and flirting with Charlie. Victor sees this and realizes that Melinda has been secretly seeing Charlie behind his back. And later that night, Melinda arrives home late and tells Victor about a new friend she has made. One day, Victor and Trixie are driving back home after adopting a new puppy, just when he notices Charlie walking down the street with a bouquet of flowers. And later that day, Victor finds those flowers sitting on his dining table and tosses them in the trash. One night, Melinda doesn't return home and instead spends the night with Charlie. And as soon as Melinda arrives the next day, Victor asks her to stop seeing Charlie for Trixie's sake. However, Melinda refuses to do so and tells Victor that Trixie was his choice, not hers. She also shares the details about her night with Charlie and how fulfilled she felt. A few days later, the entire family is having a great time at a pool party hosted at their friend's house. To everyone's surprise, Charlie, who wasn't expected to be there, also shows up and Melinda walks over to him to greet him. She brings Charlie to meet Victor and introduces him as her piano instructor. Victor acts as if he doesn't know anything about the relationship between them and politely greets Charlie. Later, Victor becomes envious as he sees Melinda getting closer to Charlie in front of everyone while they are swimming in the pool. Suddenly, the rain starts to pour, causing everyone to rush inside the house except for Victor and Charlie. Don notices the two men at the pool before he gets inside the house. A few moments later, Victor joins the group inside and continues to have a good time. However, Melinda starts searching for Charlie, and after not finding him inside the house, she goes outside to look for him. But to her shock, Melinda finds Charlie's body floating in the swimming pool and screams for help. Everyone rushes to the pool, and together, they take Charlie's body out. They try to revive his lifeless body, but their efforts are in vain. Soon, the police arrive at the scene and begin questioning those at the party. And without hesitation, Melinda accuses Victor of drowning Charlie, and one of the officers takes him to a private room for further questioning. After evaluating Victor's statement and finding nothing suspicious, the officers eventually leave the scene. Despite this, Melinda continues to insist that Victor was responsible for Charlie's death. Upon returning home, Victor confronts Melinda and asks her if she wants a divorce since she's adamant about him being a filthy murderer. But Melinda remains unfazed and replies that she's not afraid because she is sure that Victor is the one who took Charlie's life. The following day, while Victor is leisurely riding his mountain bike, he realizes that a car is following him. He goes to Trixie's school after that and runs into Kelly, who tells him that Don is still convinced that Victor murdered Charlie and is making crazy assumptions about him. However, Victor confronts Kelly and invites her and Don over for dinner at his house before sending her home. And, as scheduled, Don and Kelly show up at Victor's house for dinner that night. Not long after, Vic takes Don downstairs to his basement and starts the conversation by chatting about snails. But then, he asks Don to stop spreading the rumor that he killed Charlie. Don still believes that Victor is responsible for Charlie's death, so he asks him to take a lie detector test, to which Victor agrees. A few days later, Victor is strolling around the market when he spots the same car that was following him earlier. He then glances into the car and finds a camera with other pieces of equipment inside. And when he looks around, he sees Melinda talking to a stranger. Realizing that something's cooking, Victor walks up and interrupts their conversation, and the man introduces himself as David Rissigliani, a psychiatrist. They have a fun conversation, and while leaving, Victor asks David for a business card, but David tries to brush it off by saying that he does not have any right now. That's when Victor realizes that David is actually a private investigator hired by Melinda and Don to keep watch on him. Roughly about a week later, Victor shows up at Don's house and accuses him of hiring a private investigator to spy on him. Don tries to deny the accusation at first, but when Victor presents a bank statement showing Melinda transferring money to Don's account, a small argument occurs between Don and Kelly. Victor is walking home one day and sees Melinda out and about with another man named Tony. He watches as they roam the city, enjoying each other's company. That night, he hears Melinda talking to Tony in a flirtatious tone and gets really angry. The next day, Melinda invites the same guy over for dinner and introduces him to Victor as her ex-boyfriend from college. She tells her husband that Tony was the first American boy she was intimate with. Tony blushes at this revelation, but Victor is fuming inside. 
Despite his anger, he puts on a fake smile and tries to act friendly with Tony. As the night goes on, Melinda and Tony start drinking and dancing together. This only makes Victor more jealous, and his anger reaches a boiling point when they go off to the bedroom and become intimate. A few days later, Victor approaches Tony and invites him to check out Melinda's new site. Without much thought, Tony hops into his car and they drive off into the woods. Along the way, Victor asks Tony about his relationship with Melinda, but doesn't get any clear answer. When they reach deep in the woods, Victor suddenly throws a rock at Tony, hitting him on the forehead. Before Tony can react, Victor hits him again with another big rock, causing him to fall off a cliff and hit his head on a riverside rock. Sadly, Tony dies from the impact. In an attempt to cover the murder, Victor drags Tony's lifeless body into the river and ties stones to it and sinks it, but not before taking Tony's wallet for himself. The next day, Melinda suggests to Victor that they go on a picnic at their favorite hiking spot and bring Trixie along. Victor agrees and they set off for the spot, which turns out to be the same place where Tony was killed. While Trixie plays and enjoys herself, Victor and Melinda spend some quality time together. He tells Melinda that he accepts her for who she is and promises never to leave her. Victor also surprises her with a photo book filled with pictures he secretly took. As they enjoy their time, Victor realizes that Trixie has wandered off. He goes to fetch her, but finds that Trixie has wandered near the river where he drowned Tony's body. And when he reaches his daughter, trying to bring her back, Victor sees the dead body floating near the surface of the water. Later, when the family is driving back home from the picnic, Melinda realizes that she left her scarf behind, but Victor promises to retrieve it for her in the morning. The next day, Victor sets out on his bike to the picnic spot and quickly finds Tony's body. On the other hand, Melinda is looking for her husband and stumbles upon Tony's wallet in the basement, leading her to suspect that Victor may have killed Tony and her previous partners. As Victor tries to hide Tony's body in the river, Don suddenly shows up and catches him in the act. Victor tries to come up with excuses, but Don spots Tony's arm floating in the water. Scared of what Victor might do to him, Don quickly jumps into his car while telling Victor he'll end up in jail. Victor tries to catch up with Don by following him on his mountain bike, but can't keep up. He takes a shortcut and ends up falling in front of Don's car, causing him to make a sharp turn and crash into a river, killing him instantly. In the final scene, Victor returns home after confirming Don's death. He finds Melinda waiting for him on the staircase, which is actually the beginning of the movie. She stares at him for a moment before revealing that she found Tony's wallet, and the movie ends. We see Melinda burning her lover's wallet, showing that she finally chose to stay with Victor and Trixie. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.